guys, it's Elise from My Cupcake Addiction all the way over in sunny London in Jamie Oliver's Food Tube Kitchens. Jamie's not here today, but I am joined by the absolutely fabulous Donal Skin. Donal is a pretty famous chef and amazing cook, I has his it. own YouTube channel, which I'm going to link to down below, and he's just an all round nice guy. So he's here today and we are having a peanut butter off. Yes, very excited about it. It's, mm -hmm. it's like the ultimate peanut butter recipes we have and we're going to blow your minds with them. We are. You guys have to try both and you have to let us know in the comments below which one blew your mind more. <laughs> so we've got two amazing peanut butter recipes. Donal's made some peanut butter Snickers squares over on his channel, which I will link to down below. And today I'm going to be making peanut butter shooters. All right, so the things that we've got to make our peanut butter shooters today. I've got some dark chocolate, some peanut butter cups, some vanilla extract. I've got a little bit of thickened cream or whipping cream, some powdered sugar, some cream cheese, some crushed Oreos, and some smooth peanut butter. We've also, of course, got some shooters to serve our little shooter cups in today, but you can use any kind of cup, jar, whatever you like. All right, so Donal is going to be my glamorous assistant today. Donal, you have jobs to do. Okay, what am I gonna do? We are going to melt our cream or just heat your cream to the point of boiling. And then once that starts boiling, you can add in our delicious chocolate and stir it through. We're basically just making a ganache. So we'll add in a touch of vanilla to the cream, which is heating up in a pot on the stove. Mm -hmm. And once it starts to boil, you can add that in and stir it through. Like I said, we're basically making a ganache. You want it to be really, really nice and smooth. I'm going to stop eating them. I just you feel can. like I'm going to eat them all. <laughs> so once this is hot, I'm going to stir this through. It's going to melt down and we've got ganache. Perfect. Happy but days. when you add your chocolate, turn off the heat because you don't want to burn your chocolate. Top tip. Ah, top I hate tip. grainy chocolate. Okay, so the cream has come to a nice boil now, a little bit of a rolling boil. We're going to get in our dark chocolate and stir it around until it's melted. Until it's melted. Yeah. Stir, Donald, stir. Stir and turn off the heat. Yes. All right, so while Donald's doing that, I am going to take our powdered sugar and I'm going to pop it into the other half of our cream. So all of your measurements and quantities, I'm going to leave in the description box down below, plus all of your conversions, depending on where you're watching from. So I'm just going to whisk my cream and my sugar together until it's really well combined. So we've got the cream and the sugar mixed together and then I'm going to take my peanut butter in with my cream cheese and a little bit more vanilla and whisk that through as well. So this is your peanut butter secret this ingredient. This is my peanut butter. This is what's going to make my peanut butter better than your mm -hmm. peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Little bit of vanilla and whisk it through. So actually this is like mini kind of peanut butter cheesecakes. It's mini peanut butter cheesecakes with a twist. I like the twist. With a twist. Now the reason that I'm not putting the cream in at this point is because I don't want that cream to over whip as I'm mixing through the peanut butter cream cheese mix. So we're just protecting the cream from getting too over whipped and splitting on us. It smells really good right now. Mm, peanut butter. butter goodness. Peanut butter goodness. Mm -mm. Now Donal, I'm pretty sure your ganache is done. So can you chop up our peanut butter cups? You want them kind of like chunky, but not too big because they've got to fit in the top of our little shooter glasses. I you may eat one. I just feel like you can't trust me with these. You I'm may just, eat I'll one. I'll just be over here okay. and look after these and see what happens. Mmm, <laughs> that good. Donal's busy over there eating and chopping our peanut butter cups. And if there's any left for our shooters, I'll be very surprised. Now I'm going to fold the mixture through. So I'm going to fold our cream and sugar mixture into our peanut butter cream cheese mixture, just nice and gently so I don't over whip that cream. And you just want to fold them till they both come together. Perfect. That looks fantastic. Creamy, peanut buttery and absolutely delicious. All right, so that's all of our prep work done. So I've spooned some of that ganache and that cheesecake mixture into two separate Ziploc bags. You can also use piping bags here and it's just to give us a really nice, neat layering effect. And Donal has completed the chopping of his peanut butter cups in a very, very beautiful fashion. Thank you. Look how beautiful they are. I just have Stunning. to try one and see if mm. they're... Oh, no. mm. Mm, they're no, still no, delicious. They're still good. They're still good. Chopping did not remove <laughs> any of the flavour. No, not at all. Mm. Not even a little bit. Mm. Let's make some peanut butter shooters. Let's do it. Okay. So with our Ziploc bag, I'm just going to cut off just a nice, fine little tip and then we're just going to put about this much in the bottom of these cups but you really want about a quarter of the cup or just under a quarter of the cup with this ganache base okay well i hold them still for you concentrate at least you can do this <laughs> i believe in you make sure when you do this you have an assistant yes it's definitely a two-man job and if he's irish even better even better now, for a little bit of crunch, Donal is going to do the honours of sprinkling in some of our Oreo crumb. So that adds in just a bit of extra flavour and a nice amount of crunch as you get down to the bottom of your peanut butter cup shooters. And if you get lots of leftovers like this, you can just hold on to them because I will eat them. Yeah, mm, that good. 
Next up, we're going to cut a really generous tip off the end of our Ziploc bag with the cream cheese mixture. With the cream cheese mixture. The cream cheese mixture. And then we're going to pipe that in. Hit me with some peanut butter goodness. All right, now give that a couple of good hard taps on the bench to flatten it off. So what you're looking for is about a centimeter or so at the top, so we've got enough room to add in our peanut butter cups. Don't know what would I do without you. I know, I, I just feel like my twirling skills are coming out here now. He's all the way from Ireland to twirl my gloves. What do you reckon we're gonna do to finish them off? I, I think we need to finish them off. Mm -hmm. They look so good already though. Mm. They actually kind of look like the opposite, they're kind of like a, a Guinness. I get, they I, are. like baby Guinnesses. They are, little Guinness. Mm, nice. Mm. Okay, so how do we finish them off? We're going to chuck some peanut butter cups on top, just to take them a little bit over the top, and then we're going to drizzle some of that ganache on top of the peanut butter cups again. Now, don't put too much ganache on here, because you want to be able to see those peanut butter cups kind of poking out through the ganache. Now, you want to stick those off into the fridge for about two hours prior to serving, if you can resist and not eat them as you're going for the optimum cheesecake consistency. Can we please just eat them? That's all I'm here for. Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. So your peanut butter shooter cups of amazingness are complete. I think the best peanut butter recipe, but I will leave a link to Donal's peanut butter recipe, the peanut snicker squares. You can click here or I will leave a link to that in the description box below. And you guys should definitely go and check out Donal's YouTube channel, Donal Skihan. What can they find on your channel, Donal? You can expect to find lots of delicious home cooked recipes, stuff that's really achievable, stuff that you're kind of hungry for for dinner and lots of great baking recipes as well. So if you like Elisa's stuff, it's not quite as good, but it, it's pretty good. Uh, I reckon it's pretty good. <laughs> and it's got the lovely Donal. So it's fun to watch and definitely awesome to try. If you guys like my channel, you're definitely going to like Donal's channel. So we're done, Donal. Yes, we are. It is time to taste peanut butter deliciousness. Should we try yours? Yeah. I'm excited. So I'm, I'm excited. Okay. Just uh, go for it. Go uh, for it. I, I, uh, uh, I don't uh, want to upset the pile. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Chewy. Crunchy, mm -hmm. chocolatey. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I'm really happy with them. Mm -hmm. They're very chewy. They got chocolate going on there. There's a lot of peanut butter goodness. Are you tasting the peanut butter goodness? I'm tasting the peanut butter. And you know what? I'm not getting a ton of coconut, but I'm getting the texture from the coconut. Mm. It's really good, really subtle. A nice little hint in mm. there. It's very good. Okay, okay. I know what mine tastes like. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, I'm pretty excited about trying yours. All right. Mm -hmm. Put them down, okay. Spoons at the ready. Do we have to do it with spoons? I kind of was going to go for a sucking motion. If you want to do a sucking motion, you do a sucking motion. Okay, I won't do the sucking motion. <laughs> okay. Let's go with the spoons. Let's go with the spoons. Okay, here we go. Oh, that is so good. Mm. You get this wonderful layers of... Mm, no more time. Mm. Mm. Layers of ganache, and then cookie, and then cheesecake, and then... That is so, so good. It's pretty awesome. I mean, for me, I love that you dive through those Reese's peanut butter cups. You mm. get the cheesecake, you get the wonderful crunch from the biscuits, and then that chocolate in the bottom. This is seriously good. But this is obviously heaven. not as good as mine. Oh, all right, all right. So which one are you picking as the winner? Well, obviously mine. My oh, well, peanut butter Snickers squares. Well, I'm picking my peanut butter cup shooters so as the winners. How are we going to settle this? I think you guys are going to have to settle this for us. Make both the recipes. Let us know in the comments below which one you preferred. And we will see you soon. See you soon. Happy peanut butter baking. Yum! Yay.